Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody contacted me via email, and they've got a 11 by 14 frame, and they've got a, well, I've changed the thickness, like an eight point line. They're gonna run it at 70 speed at 100 power, and it's gonna take 63 minutes and 54 seconds. I just went out and tested it on my laser. He said it kind of confusing at first. He said an hour and three minutes. Well, if you did it with color mapping, you could change the two colors because I've broken this line apart. Laser print, and I've got mine print from the bottom down, is gonna print this line till it gets off that line, and then it's gonna print those two lines. There's a lot of dead space between those two lines. So what you could do is split the line up and nudge it out of the way and run this one. So you could color map it and have two different colors, but it's gonna be the exact same process because color mapping is gonna run this line and then you just have another color. And if you don't know about color mapping, there's plenty of videos out there. And then put this back in and run this line. It takes 21, 21 minutes to run this side. So 42, 40 for both sides, you're gonna save 21 minutes if you do it this way. Now, how many people are gonna run just a straight line? I would actually try vectoring this and have it out of focus, but if you wanted it perfect into a perfect depth, but I don't, you know, it doesn't matter if you've got words here you know, words here and words here and words here or graphics, it's the same thing. It'd be a lot easier than the line because the line has a corner. So how did I do that? How did I break up these two lines? So we're just gonna redo that. Let me get rid of my text. And I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then I'm gonna hit P and put this in the center of the page. So I'll, you know, matter of fact, I'm gonna well, all you do is put a line in the center of the page with a contour. And then you have, I turned it into an object. I turned the outline into an object. So now, and then I'll, you know what, just in case people don't know, let's, uh, let's just do this the right way. Let's go to uh, effects, contour. Let's contour just one time to the outside and you get that. Then you're gonna to need to go to break the contour part. And then you're gonna take this line and make it whatever thickness, a point or inch or whatever you want. Let's make it eight, eight points. And then I'm gonna to go to object and convert the outline to an object. Then I'm gonna left click no fill and right click an outline. So then you got two lines. And all I did was take a two point line and go from that node to that node and go down to the opposite corner. It doesn't make any sense to break them into four lines because it's gonna take the same amount of time. So we'll get a two point line and go from that node to that node. Then take your smart fill tool set on black. Let's zoom in here and let's fill this in with black and let's nudge it out of the way. And let's fill this in with nut, with black. So then, well, I'll tell you what, let's back that one back down and then put it in your laser where you're going to want it. And if you do color mapping, you would just have to change the colors to something other than black. But it's going to, you know, unless you're doing a lot of them, it's not going to save you any time to color map it because you can nudge this one off the page run that one, nudge that one off the page, and run this one back, I would definitely take away my outline. Your red lines are just the, the frame test. Make sure you're in the center. And then run that line. And it doesn't matter if you have words or, you know, it'd be a lot easier if it words. You can just select stuff like this. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And thank you for watching.